Hi, good morning everyone. I am making my way as close as I can get to St. James's Palace this morning where the formal announcement of King Charles III will be made by the Ascension Council. Now, as you can see, the crowds are gathering here. We don't have access anywhere near the palace, but I will get as close as I can. Stay tuned. I'm winging it here myself, folks. This is all new to me too. So um, I'll turn you around. Hopefully we'll see something happening later on. Perhaps King Charles will have a procession coming from the palace. Sorry, I'm looking around as I'm talking to you. Let me turn you around. Now, as you can see, the thousands of people are gathering just around here at the barriers. To be honest, I think my best shot was going to be, preferably was going to be over here, but we expect he will travel from the palace. That's what we're hoping. So the media have access, of course. No chance of getting a press pass for this, I'm afraid. Now, the procedure for today, of course, will include his formal announcement. This hasn't happened in 70 years, and that will take place in the throne room of St. James's Palace, the Ascension Council. It'll be the very first time that the cameras are inside St. James's Palace to witness this historic moment. At 11 o'clock then, the Garter of Arms, David Arms, will continue the second proclamation on the balcony of St. James's Palace, officially proclaiming the new king, King Charles III. So it's a historic morning. Um, I am going to try and bring you the highlight of the events over the next few days. I can't guarantee I'm going to be able to get to all of them. It's impossible to be in three places at once, but in the city of London as well, the proclamation will be made at the, law, at the Royal Exchange. There'll be proclamations up and down the country at York. Um, in attendance this morning are senior members. So the Privy Council is basically a formal body that advises the sovereign. And I believe the head of the Privy Council is Penny Mordaunt. You might remember was um, recently one of the candidates for the new Prime Minister position. Uh, you will have the Archbishop of Canterbury, you will have the Prince of Wales will be here this morning, senior MPs and over the years it's swelled to about 700 members but they have all received their invitations, they have narrowed it down to about 200. So only senior politicians, diplomats, members of the clergy will be in attendance this morning including also the newly crowned, well the newly titled Prince of Wales, uh, Prince William. Now the press are all up there. I can't get into that section, but I'm, you know me, I'll maneuver my way around as best I can. So I'm afraid this is the best we can do this morning, folks. As you can see, it's completely uh, cornered off. So stay tuned. If anything's happening, I will be back shortly and let you know more of what's to happen this morning but a historic event that has not taken place in this country for 70 years in fairness uh, you will see the entire thing televised anyway so you'll get much better access to it than I will this morning I'll have to wait till this evening to see the entire events inside St. James's Palace but of course St. James's Palace the most official senior and Royal Working Palace of them all, Buckingham Palace only in the court of St. James's Palace and as you'll all know from regular videos it was built by Henry VIII for his second wife Anne Boleyn. But by far the most historic event that occurs here is on the balcony of Fiery Court and David Arnes this morning will proclaim the new King, King Charles III, Lord Garter of Arms. Stay tuned folks, I'll bring you the highlights. If anything happens we'll be right here. It's actually my fault getting in the wrong area, but I'm going to go over here because I feel like these guys are queuing now. They could have maybe some sort of a pass that has been awarded to them. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. See these people over here, you guys? They look like they're queuing at a gate, so let me see if something's happening here. 
any processions and arrivals sorry lovely we will figure out later on but yeah these guys seem to be queuing here oh i guess that they probably have passes to get in but i'm going to find out because i can't miss this opportunity just in case there's any way of squeezing our way in let's see here I'll say to, just to give you a quick update I actually screwed up you guys um, I should have been here I didn't realize they were opening it up to the public and they're allowing a thousand people in and this is where the queue stops and they're going to count in a thousand people into Priory Court in St. James's Palace to let them witness that proclamation in person at 11 a.m. However, we have been informed that we are most likely not going to get in, in the queue, but I got to take a, make a decision now. I either go over there and see what I can for you guys, or I stick with this. And right now, I'm going to attempt sticking with this. Desperately need to get in there and see how it goes, but they're not going to allow many more but the minute and we might be allowed to get up to the barrier though though oh you guys this is how close it is are we getting in we're getting in i don't believe it are we oh you guys we're getting in no we think only about a thousand members of the public are allowed in they're gonna let us in i got in oh my god i don't believe it ladies and gentlemen we made it could you believe it there's only about a thousand of us left in i got in oh my god i'm so excited thank god i'm here Ladies and gents, we're going to witness it in person, the official statement. Oh my God, this is incredible. I cannot believe it. We made it. Ladies and gents, look, we are actually in front of the press. Oh my God. We did it again, folks. Stay tuned. This is it. The biggest moment in history. And we are closer than the press. Uh, I'll let you. Do you want to go ahead of me, love? No, no. no. Okay. Just that I'm tall. I don't mind. I'm here now. Oh, anyway. yeah. I'm not going to fight my way anymore. <laughs> oh, you guys. Only free tours by foot. We got in, ladies and gentlemen. As mentioned, only a thousand people in the entire country are allowed into this area. I cannot believe the excitement. I'm so excited this happened. This is probably my biggest achievement ever. So look at the crowns down there. Thank God I took that gamble. Look at this. Looks Apparently supposed to be exceptionally bad luck for any future king or queen to witness that statement in person. You've got to have a look at this window up here on the right hand side it was quite controversial because Edward VIII King Edward VIII and Wallace Simpson witnessed that statement in person during his proclamation on the balcony here at Fiery Court I mean history in the making not only am I here with you but I'm also for myself I'm actually shaking this is super exciting Stay tuned. All the pomp and ceremony on the way. This one of the political broadcasters or the royal correspondents with the BBC, you guys. And this is where we are. We're just awaiting this announcement by the Lord Garter of Arms, David Arnaz, officially proclaiming the new King Charles III of England something that hasn't happened since 1952 was the last time this occurred show you the crowd around again this is immense pressure now to get this right for you guys it's terrifying I'm always afraid the gimbal will flip or something will go tremendously bad or horribly wrong <laughs> I mean you get all the way in here and then the pressure of getting it correct is the hardest part oh my god I just luck was on my side today the luck of the Irish you guys
Sorry, this is a bit tough. I'm behind quite a few tall people, so just bear with me, you guys. I'll try and get what I get. But you got this anyway in the changing of the guard ceremony tour that you have. Didn't have his Weetabix this morning, you guys. He sounds really cross. Stand still, he's telling them, stand still. Got ants in their pants this morning. I can't see, but it's the Coldstream Guard, ladies and gents, as you can see by the red plumes on their Canadian bearskins. The Coldstream Guards. Just going to keep filming in case I miss anything, you guys. So, um, about five minutes it's expected to start, so bear with me. Um, I might be a little quiet. All the hands are going to go up with the phones, but I'm going to put my hand up as high as I can to try to get the good footage. Um, amazing to actually be here. This is uh, quite an incredible experience. security beside me. <laughs> Crowds are also out on Palmao, as you can see, waiting on the other side. We're going to just focus on this very balcony. This is the happiest policeman I've ever seen in my life. He's smiling all day. It's a big event for him as well, of course. Oh, I'm so glad you can join me for this, you guys. It's just going to be an incredible day. And the rain is going to pour down out of the heavens any minute, I expect. Be just typical, wouldn't it? If he uh, started to lash just before the announcement, which we expect any minute. 
so we're gonna zoom in. This is probably the better view we're gonna get right now because immediately all the cameras are gonna go up, but I will put my gimbal up as high as I can to be above the other people. People are really excited to be here. It's an amazing event to be able to witness this in person. 1952, the last time it happened. And prior to that, of course, it was King George the Sixth. And prior to that, Edward the Eighth, King Edward the Eighth. And prior to that, King George the Fifth. Oh, 
I hope you're hearing all this, folks. It's great.
You guys have witnessed a lot of amazing stuff over the years, but that was absolutely incredible. I mean, just to be here in person, but I want to show you all the news reporters now as well. Everyone is just quite buzzing off this, it's insane. The whole of Pan Mal went wild. Here are all the news reporters. I myself might end up on the news here, but that is. So this is Sky News. Rihanna Mills is there, Sky News Royal Correspondent. And we haven't got that close to them in a while. So there's people heading in there towards. Oh, the guests are coming out this side. So let's go and we'll see. Oh, there's Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party. The leader of the opposition. Here he is being interviewed by Sky News. And these are all the men that attended, you guys. All the people that attended are heading in here towards the Commonwealth Building. That's the Commonwealth Building, so I'm assuming there's some sort of reception for them after. But here's the leader of the opposition in the background waiting to be... Sorry. Waiting to be interviewed by the correspondents at Sky News. And over here, it's not the Archbishop of Canterbury, but obviously I'm a senior member of the clergy. Let's see who else is coming out. These are all the dignitaries that attended right here. Can you see them going in the gate, you guys there? Yeah. I'd like to talk you through some of these people, but I'm not quite sure of their names. Oh, yeah. I'm listening to the boys in the background can do the commentary here. Emily Thornbury. So these are all the dignitaries that would have witnessed this morning's events. And here's Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, being interviewed. Sky News. This has been an eventful day. I'm going to get out of here because I have a private tour. You guys, I can't delay much further. I have to go to the Ritz. Now, let me just show you where we were. Oh my God, this has been so excited. Such an exciting day. Now, what I do have to say is that I really hope my footage is okay, you guys. I had to compete with so many different people and for space and room with the hand and my hand was right up on top so i'm begging that this footage came out right ladies and gentlemen day two it's going to be hard to top that one day two of operation london bridge ladies and gentlemen sinead signing out here from an incredibly festive it's okay you're okay incredibly festive day a stunning ceremony and pomp there ain't nothing like it what's happening over here oh all the cars let's see if we can see you're about to 
head down Pall Mall. Can you see you guys? <laughs> Trying to keep up with everything is uh, it's incredible because they, so much is happening on every corner at every stage. But I'm really gonna have to sign out now, you guys. Amazing to talk to you all. I hope we get great footage. This is so exciting. Let me show you though before we go. Actually, the crowds on the mall. And let's see all the press over here. He's our guy from the BBC correspondent. We'll get a wave. Hi. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my God, what a buzz. Now, let me just show you where we actually got to. As you can see, there's only about a thousand of us allowed here. To, much to the envy. Ooh, something happening. <laughs> much to the envy of the crowds in front of me look at this you guys i cannot contain my excitement that was absolutely remarkable and if i screwed up this footage i am giving up for the rest of my life because i will never get that opportunity again oh you guys are so pleased that i could get this for you and i wasn't going to come down this morning because i thought it was completely pointless possibly going to think we're dignitaries or something because we got in and nobody else did and this is where we're headed now I must go meet a fabulous couple for a private tour of Westminster day two you guys operation hey. London Bridge thank you for joining me Sinead with free tours by Foot London we'll get this up as quick as we can now if I hear of anything else I will let you know See you later, guys.